Hey guys, how are you all doing? Welcome back to a new video. Today, we're going to recover gold again from these gold-plated pins, which are also known as army pins. As you can see, all of these are gold-plated. Now it's time to add the acid. This is nitric acid, and it's very powerful. It removes gold from brass, meaning all the brass, iron, and other impurities will dissolve and turn into liquid, leaving behind only the pure gold. The fumes from this process are very dangerous, so please try to step back as much as possible at this point, and make sure you're doing this in a well-ventilated area. After about half an hour, you can see the color has changed, and everything you see on top is the dissolved material. We also have another circuit board here, which is entirely gold. It has a significant amount of gold on it, so let's recover the gold from this as well. We'll add this to the acid too. You can see that as soon as we put it in the acid, it starts fuming. This means the brass is dissolving, and the gold is separating. Now, let's also add this plate to recover gold from it. Remember, all these items are gold-plated, not solid gold. They only have a gold covering on them. Both of these plates have a pretty thick gold coating. Now that the acid's power is exhausted, we'll add water again. All the brass and other impurities have dissolved, leaving only the gold. So now, we'll filter it. After filtering, we'll collect the gold from this cloth. Then, we'll burn it and melt it down. Finally, the pure gold will be extracted. Currently, this gold isn't completely pure. It still has impurities. So, we'll add mercury. With the help of mercury, we'll collect all the gold, and the impurities will be left behind. After adding mercury, we shake it like this to ensure all the gold comes into contact with the mercury, allowing the mercury to absorb the gold. Remember, mercury only absorbs gold, not impurities, so all the impurities in the gold will remain separate. A lot of people repeatedly ask what powder we use with mercury. Let me tell you, this powder is actually the soda used for washing clothes.
Now we shake it well so that all the gold sticks to the mercury, and the impurities remain. Later, we'll put the mercury back into the acid. Any remaining mercury will evaporate or burn off, leaving behind pure gold. You can see the gold has stuck to the mercury, and we're separating the mercury from it. Now, we'll separate all the impurities. You can see how we separate the impurities this way. Now, we'll put this mercury into a cloth and filter it. The best way to filter it is to twist the cloth tightly, and you'll see the mercury drip out in small droplets. Let me show you, see, this isn't pure gold yet, it still has mercury, so now, we need to break this mercury, place it in this container, and add nitric acid to it. This will burn off all the mercury, leaving only the gold. You'll know the mercury is gone when the black smoke stops and the fumes turn white. This signifies that only gold remains. As you can see, the smoke has started turning white. So, it's clean now, only gold remains. Let's wash it, and then we'll melt this gold again. Because this gold is currently in its raw form, it's not in its full form, so we'll convert it back into 24 karat gold. Once again, we've added acid to check if there's any remaining mercury, to ensure it's completely gone.
We'll wash it now because we believe all the mercury has been removed, and only gold remains. So let's dry it and then transfer it to a small clay bowl. After that, we'll melt it. When gold is in its raw form, it appears to be a lot, but it isn't that much. Once it melts, you'll see how little it actually is. It will form a very small ball. This small ball is the actual, pure gold. It's completely pure, 24 karat. So let's cool it down now and then weigh it to see how much gold it is. We're weighing it, and it's approximately 1. 93 grams. Let us know in the comments how much this is worth in your country. So, that was today's video. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.